Okay, so uh, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we've got this um, little expression that we've been asked to evaluate. The natural log of the infinite series of the integral of x to the power beta minus 1 multiplied by e to the power negative x divided by 2020. And then all this being divided by 2020 multiplied by uh, beta, beta minus 1 factorial quantity squared dx. And uh, keep in mind that beta is actually just our uh, constant of index. It's not like anything to do with like using, I don't know, you could say the beta function. That's That won't be necessary. It's actually not going to be as difficult as you think it's going to be. There's actually going to be one little um, f function that we're going to be using um, to help evaluate this like once we get further down the steps. And you'll see that this answer actually comes out very nice and smooth or nice and clean. I wouldn't say smooth in that sense. To evaluate this integral, or to evaluate this expression, or you said spoiler, <laughs> let's actually first evaluate the um, integral of this inside, inside expression. So I'll call this integral just capital I, and then this is just our integral zero to infinity of um, x to the power beta minus one, then e to the negative x divided by 2020 divided by uh, 2020 multiplied by beta minus 1 factorial quantity square dx. So now in order to do this, let's actually do a u substitution. How about instead in this case, I'll um, call it t is the substitution we're using. So I'll let t equals um, x to the uh, x divided by 2020 and then um, Let's see, differentiate both sides. So dt is equal to uh, one over 2020 uh, dx. Um, so now there's an x in our integral. So how about we um, get everything for x by itself so we can replace it to get the integral in terms of t. So this means I'll just multiply 2020 on both sides. And so this means I'll get that um, x is just equal to 2020 um, multiplied by t. Okay, so with that, we have everything that we need to do our substitution. Um, also, we're also changing our value of integration. So we let x equals zero, then um, it's still going to be zero. And then we let x equal infinity, then it's going to be infinity. So nothing has really changed within that value of integration. So it's from zero to infinity. Okay, and then I plug x equals 2020. So that means this is 2020t to the power beta minus one and then e to the uh, negative t and then divide this by um so let's see we substitute one over 2020 dx so this will cancel and we're just left with um beta minus one factorial square and then dt notice that i can actually factor out the um Let's see, I can factor out the 2020 outside. So what this means is that when I distribute the um, our exponent beta minus one, I'm distributing to our constant and then to our um, variable t. But since 2020 is being distributed with the power of beta minus one, I can just move that outside since it's just a constant. Same thing for the denominator here, beta minus one factorial quantity squared is still constant. So I can just move that outside. So let's see, um, slow, slow it down a bit. So it's 2020 to the power beta minus one divided by beta minus one factorial quantity square and then multiply by the integral zero to infinity of, uh, let's see, so so it's t to the beta minus one and then e to the negative t dt. Now we're gonna get to what I just mentioned earlier. We're gonna use a function to help evaluate this. So let's recall something. Let's actually recall the gamma function, yeah. Let's write the gamma function. Recall the gamma function. So just uh, capital gamma of um, for some input n, which obviously that's, you guys know that's equal to n minus one factorial, but um, the gamma function can be represented in integral form as the integral from zero to infinity of, um, we'll call this variable u to the power n minus one and then multiply by e to the negative u du. Okay, good. So now we have that. Uh, let me just underline this, uh, our formula, our formula here in black. 
and then we're going to be using this to substitute some things. Now going back, I'll just rewrite uh, what we have. So give me one second. Okay, so I just rewritten what we have over here. So now we can actually just do some substitution. So notice that um, this integral over here has the same um, format as defined as the gamma function. Therefore, the input would have to be, um, it would have to be uh, gamma of beta minus one. So therefore I have 2020 uh, beta minus one. And then um, let's see, divided by beta minus one factorial quantity square. Okay, and then replace that with our um, beta function, our gamma function. So it's gamma of uh, beta minus one. We can actually replace this definition now with uh, beta minus one factorial. So this means over here, so we have 2020 beta minus one divided by quantity beta minus one factorial quantity square of um, beta minus one factorial. It's further simplification, you can see that um, the beta minus one from the numerator cancels and we're just left with one quantity under the denominator. So it's just 2020 beta minus one divided by beta minus one factorial. Okay, good. So that's what we have currently. So therefore, um, so far the expression we have now is, I'll call this I'll call our given integral just s. So s is equal to, okay, s equals ln of our, um, just the given same thing. So we have finally narrowed it down to um, just 2020 beta minus one divided by beta minus one factorial. Let's actually, um, well, yeah, this is supposed to be the natural log of our um, inside. So the natural log of beta minus one factorial. Okay, good. So, so far that's what we derived for S for now. So now the next thing what I'd like to do is let's actually do a, our um, change of index. So let's see, I'll use our, um, use this orange. So change of index. So this means how about I let, let's change our um, index of um, beta minus one then change to just beta itself. So when I do that, then this means I get that S is equal to the natural log of the sum. So this is still from infinity, but this means beta will have to um, equal zero of 2020 beta and then divided by beta factorial. So we have this. And now let's actually recall um, Let's actually recall the power series expansion of the function e to the x. So let's see, power series expansion e to the x is series is just equal to so the sum the sum from the sum from n is equal to zero of x to the power n divided by n factorial. And now um, let's actually substitute x equals 2020. So let's see, plug x equals 2020. So that means we get that e to the uh, 2020 power is equal to the sum, so the infinite sum, and is equal to zero of um, 2020n and then to the power n factorial. Okay, but you clearly can see that um, it's actually the same form. It's actually the same formulation of um, the series from here to here. So rather. S is equal to, okay, I'll just rewrite what I have. So infinite series of beta equals zero and then 2020 beta of, and then divided by beta factorial. Okay, simply that's just the same thing as ln of uh, right here, e to the 2020. And therefore we have shown that that's actually just the natural log e cancels. So we're left with, it's just 2020. Okay, and therefore we are done. So therefore, um, final answer written is in this black box. Therefore, we'll say it again one more time. The natural log of the sum, the infinite sum of, of the integral of x beta minus one e to the negative x divided by 2020 divided by 2020 multiplied by beta minus one factorial quantity squared dx is equal to just 2020. Okay. Uh, that's pretty cool if you ask me.